your daily hour with me. There it is. We're on the program again Monday morning. Labor Day for all you viewers. Uh, second once again, day. once an everyday drum machines, and we start talking for an hour. Second consecutive day I've been on here. Yeah, it's been like a while since I've done that. Even I think. Just, all right. just enjoying the uh, week or two of not working uh, before I start my new job. It's a uh, Monday. My vacation. I've done a lot of nothing, which is good. Do you have headphones? Do you have any headphones? Because Carl's got these. Uh, uh, I can hear. It's all right. Carl's got earbuds, but I don't think you want to wear those. Yeah. I have my own in my car, but it's all the way down there. So. Labor Day. Labor are you, Day. Are, are you having the Labor Day off anyway next week, Jim? Yeah. Uh, I'll probably be right here a week from now, too. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? What are the people are have labor? You're coming to, or doing labor, and uh, you get a break today. Yeah, break from the the job. You have Monday off, right? I think so, probably. Sweet. Yeah, no labor. No labor for me too. That's uh, good. You know, lots of people have to work on Labor Day, but yeah, not us. Where's Carl? Yeah, where is Carl? He was saying he was gonna be at some thing at nine, but it's uh, a few hours past nine. Oh no! What? We're cracking this. Oh uh, shit, someone oh. stepped on it. Oh, uh, it's probably me just now, actually. Or it still works. Oh no. That's the beginning of it, though. Yeah. Well, it's just the part that you don't actually use. So. Yeah, but it's going to start spreading. Yeah, better drill it. <laughs> uh, oh, dang, that's too bad. Well. So I shouldn't put it on the floor. Yeah. Don't put your electronics on the floor where you step. Should have learned my lesson before this. Years ago. Uh, oh well. Let's call Carl. Though. Where is he? Carl, just where are you? Just use it till it falls apart. Yeah. Until it slices your fingers with broken glass. Yeah, where is Carl? Here, let's, let's call him. Let's see if he's uh has the phone on. You know, we've been trying to every time I try to call him recently, he doesn't have the phone going. That's no good. The phone's always on somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if it's with me or not. It's the, the real question. You see, uh, yeah, how are you doing today? Good. I went uh, to the gym for a while. Ran for a while. Got some exercise. Been having a knee problem lately with my uh, knee that wasn't surgically repaired. Oh, the other one, huh? But I think it's, it's all right. I think it was just the... Uh, the big crazy tendon that goes from your hip to your knee and like moves and, like it's tight all the time yeah. it was getting like really sore mostly because i started running and i hadn't been running in a while and i instead of like building up to like great distances i just went right back into it and so i think i just over overworked it really fast it seems all right now Is ran the surgery knees okay though yeah it's good it pops sometimes because the cartilage had like the edges that got they took out a whole bunch of it and so the edges were still like not smoothed over and so it's getting better i think it doesn't pop anymore so i can get it to do it. you had to get that surgery on your other knee now no it's it's totally different the other one was inside the knee and this one's just the muscle on the outside but it's basically just like a sore muscle so it's not really a much of an issue anymore, I think. Just got to keep running, block out the pain or something. Something like that. It'll be, it'll be good eventually. To call him Carl. I think my, this might have just happened, like, right before I heard it. I yeah, it was fine yesterday. So it was I think I heard a drop. Did you hear that drop, like, when I was walking over there? Well, that was when you dropped that glass over there. Oh, okay. I think. Or maybe you stepped on it then. Maybe Hello. you should... Leave a detailed message. Detailed message. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. 
Hey Carl, it's the program. We're leaving a detailed message wondering where you're at. We're taping now, 50 minutes to go. Alright, bye. What kind of message do you want? Hey, the, the stuff on the screen isn't on the screen. Is there a thing you have to press? There we go. Alright. <laughs> Problem solved. It's the stuff. It's there now. 360-836-4384. Uh, you can give us a call. Answer your questions and voicemails on the air. You see crazy people at the gym? Uh, not. There are a lot of old people there. Um, it's kind of a standard deal though for you know daytime at like ten in Monday the morning. Afternoon, yeah. Yeah, there's old people there. Um, there was a car accident when I was driving down the hill. Oh yeah. I didn't drive up to it. It was not one of those roundabouts on like Fifth or whatever. Those, so those are so dangerous. I went around. Well, I mean, if a roundabout. Yeah, a lot of people don't look when they go through them. Like that's the thing in Seattle, people just blast through them on any direction. No. So I actually like looked up like who has the actual right of way, and it's like in the Seattle law, it's just whoever gets there first. It's just like, ugh, that's not safe. Yeah, that's a, it's yield. That's called yielding. Like there should be one side that like is has the right of way more so but there's not in seattle i, like I, I, I feel like here like ones going up or down the hill have the right of way and there's like it says that on the sign somewhere it does i think i'm pretty sure because it's it's, i have a lot like fewer problems in olympia going around the roundabouts in seattle even those like especially those like tiny ones like on the hill on the west side mm -hmm. like in my neighborhood in seattle there's there's one that has stop signs on one side because they have like bikes that go it's like a bike uh, route. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because cars park really close on either side. So when you look, you can't see bikes going. And whenever, like, maybe once a week, I'll, like, because I go that way to get to the, uh, the main road to go to work. And so I stop, look both ways, don't see a bike. And then I, like, start going, and there's a bike, like, blasting through, and they're, like, shouting at me. I'm like, I couldn't see them until they are right like beside my car oh. and you can't hear them either with like the windows down because, so like because of where our cars are parked in relation to the roundabout like they go right up the edge of it you can't see anybody there's always accidents at the roundabout yeah well people don't know what to do they just blast through them and it seems like there's less in seattle even though people are way like crazier but they see there's bad ones in the roundabouts everywhere those are bad. They should get rid of them. There's just a lot of bad drivers in general. I kind of prefer stop signs to uh, roundabouts. Yeah, stop signs are lights. Probably stop well, signs work. Yeah, stop signs are cheaper. But then you don't have to stop every time you go there, but maybe you should. Yeah, there's a lot more accidents. Uh, there's... I take every time, uh, and... They seem unsafe. Jessman almost got killed on the roundabout. Yeah. And... There's always accidents there. Yeah. It's a little scary sometimes, but you yeah, just gotta not trust anybody else. That's all. Yeah, I don't like riding bikes or running near them. Just gotta blue or I usually end up like stopping and like looking. <laughs> if I'm on a you just gotta think bike that or foot. You, yeah, no trusting anybody else. That's the only way you can do those roundabouts. Yeah. Just assume people are gonna do something unpredictable. Oh yeah, there's a big crack one right, right, right here. Jeez. That's no good. Yeah. How long have you had that thing? Uh, almost a year now. Yeah. Almost a year. <laughs> yeah. Take and get it fixed. Or is it? I don't want to get it fixed. You get it fixed. It'd probably be kind of cheap just for the screen. Yeah. Instead of the whole thing. We got some messages. Yeah. Ginsu. Actually, not Ginsu. Oh, yeah, there's one from Ginsu. There's 12 from Ginsu. Yeah. yeah. He seemed less, like, messed up yesterday when I he was talking. Hi, Judy. This is Sam. He's coming back. Bye. Less messed up, huh? Yeah. Maybe because it was, like... I don't know, his messages, he sounded super messed up, and then he, when he called, he was fine. I can't even tell the difference. Really? 
He's got all like flooring in his messages or what? Yeah, like super slow, like. Uh, uh, uh. I'm like, oh, it's in the mirror. He probably like just woke up when we called yesterday. I'm calling Dan Dobler. Yeah. He didn't have enough time to um ingest drugs, huh? Yeah. Hold on, he woke up. Gotta get the drugs going. Can't stand being being sober for Hello? Hey Dan. Hi. Oh, nice. uh, it's the program one TV, how you doing today? Whoa, whoa, uh, uh. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm socializing with, I'm socializing with, with Frederick and, and, and Tarek and Meet Kevin. Uh, can I call you back? Or, can I call you back? Or, 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 could you talk to me some, some other time? Yeah, say hi to Freddy for us. What? Say hi to Frederick for us. Oh, okay, bye. Well. <laughs> That's who we're gonna call next, but maybe we should leave him be. Riding somewhere. Going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Got a busy day of nothing today, so I'm here. Yeah, I'm supposed to go buy pants. Uh at some point. Hopefully cheap, probably at the Goodwill. Find somewhere that has my size. It's apparently my new job has more of a dress code than my old one. Uh huh. So the last job I just like wore jeans every day, even though they had a dress code that said you're not supposed to wear jeans every day. I did. Nobody cared or said anything ever. Yeah. But this one I think I have to wear like uh, non-jean pants. So oh. I don't really have any of those except for one pair that goes with my suit, and then another pair that doesn't really fit too well. It's way too big. Do other people do that at your old job too? Yeah. Pretty much most people wear jeans. Uh, so yeah, I gotta go find something in my size, which is always difficult because my legs are really long. So uh, that's a, an issue. I don't like wearing pants that are too short. It's kind of weird. Casual, casual Friday every day. Yep. Every day. It wasn't as good as my my job I had before Mercer Island, where I'd just wear like basketball shorts and a sweatshirt and like a hat and sunglasses to work yeah so i never had to interact with the public ever so that was pretty cool but i have a bit of public interaction so i gotta look business casual or office casual or whatever they call it how many levels do they have here i don't know office i think casual business people? casual is basically like a collared shirt Pants that aren't jeans and a belt with shirt tucked in. Man. Or not, depending on the shirt. I never tucked in my shirt either in <laughs> Mercer Island because uh, tucking in a shirt with jeans is kind of dumb. Now you gotta tuck in your shirt? Yeah, I think I will. Well, I used to go to the. Uh, I have a bunch of like decent shirts because I used to go to the Mercer Island thrift store and the rich people there would like give all their nice shirts away so there's a ton of brand new shirts for like three dollars oh so i kind of stocked up over the years and i'll probably still go there if they have find out about sales and stuff like 75 percent off and all that so that's pretty they don't have a book about what what is business casual somewhere uh, yeah i'm sure it's online well i kind of know i i know what it is i just gotta get the levels, get the pants necessary the levels of business fanciness attire yeah. Well, there's one that's like basically like a suit, hey, shirt, and tie, but I'm not doing that ever. I hate ties. I hate things hey, around my neck. Yeah, it's like somebody's choking you out all the time. They can grab you. You're yeah. vulnerable. Yeah. Somebody's gonna. They can take you down. Yeah. And then choke you. Hey guys, yeah. we just got done with the Macklemore concert. We live in West Seattle. It was so amazing. We're high on Molly. What? <laughs> and we're just flipping through the channels. I mean, like, we're high, but we're not that high over there. Yeah, you guys look weird. But, like, weird in a good way. But anyways, we were just flipping through the, we were flipping through the channels, and this popped up, and there was a number. And, um... You had to call. We had to call. <laughs> um, we're eating 
here at Leftover Breakfast Food right now and watching you guys. Like, I don't know, are you stoned? Like, the fuck? Anyways, you should definitely are you projecting? play our message. They're high, so they think so everybody else is high, and too. Then call us back. My yeah. name's Jojo, and this is Barbie. Jojo and Barbie. Yeah. Do it. What, what, what? They're what, here to see Macklemore. Damn, okay, that's we cool. We're going to call soon, we're going to call back. Correct. <laughs> So the other day, I was at the the barber shop, getting my shit lined up. Yeah. So I like going to real barber shops because they're they're cheap. And uh, the fellas there were talking a lot of shit about Macklemore. They don't like him. Yeah. I think he's kind of lame. Personally, the songs are good in the parts where he's not rapping, but well, I think I don't know. I think he's doing his own thing. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Uh, Cool. Should we call these we need to these, judge. these cool kids yeah, they left from one, Seattle? They left one more message. Jeez. Getting uh, getting high and seeing Macklemore. That sounds lovely. It's probably like 20, 22, maybe 19. I'm calling back because I just figured out that you guys aren't live. It's true. <laughs> And I didn't leave my number, and all I mean, because like caller ID doesn't exist or anything. It does. But my number is two zero. Ba 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 They want to touch Macklemore. So high. Uh, let's let's guess what part of Seattle they're in. They say West Seattle or something. Like that. They said I thought they just said Seattle. Oh, well wh- I don't know Seattle. Yeah. But what what, you, what I'm gonna say they li- they either go to the Art Institute or Seattle U. So they're either in Belltown or Capitol Hill. Which one? I'm gonna go with Capitol Hill. I'll go, I'll go Belltown, I guess, then. I don't really know. <laughs> or Fremont. Maybe. I'm, nah, I'm sticking with Capitol Hill. I'm going Belltown. I don't even know what that is, so. Bell. Let's see if they're even gonna be awake right now. These people who, new callers are always like, what, you're calling me t- today? I called you last night when I was uh, drunk or whatever, and then they're like, I'm not drunk anymore. Why well, can't, can't talk to you? Wait, what's happening? Who is this? <laughs> yeah. They're like, forget about it because we're on at nighttime and like. We actually get more. Hello? Please leave your message for 200. We get more hotel people than. Hey, it's the program. You called us last night after you watched Macklemore. Give us a call back. We want to talk to you about Seattle and Macklemore and. Yeah, how, how you, you know, s- Capitol how, Hill how and Belltown. Are you Molly hungover today? Feeling really sad today. Maybe you're asleep, probably. Probably uh, asleep. Right Call us back. Keep watching the show. It's on uh, the internet, too. If you yo. If you know about the internet. Yeah. Seattle people. Yeah, I, yeah. Know, I bet they're sleeping or confused. Or yeah, both. Yeah. Sleep, confused and sleeping at the same time? <laughs> They'll just wake up to to be confused. Yeah. Don't forget. That's a thing that happens. More people call the show from hotels and stuff than I feel like because in, in hotels you actually like flip through the channels. Yeah. And you're like, what is this? Because I don't think the hotel, they have like the weird remote they don't have like that full like xfinity thing mm. they're just the remote so you can flip through the channels the only time people are gonna flip through yeah yeah so that makes that makes sense because you never just go like oh let's see what it says on uh, government access on this random channel by all the other government access channels oh yeah everybody's using, using the, the, the guide. menu so you gotta you got tune in on purpose yeah like yeah they actually like consciously decide to go to that channel or people that just have like the super mega basic cable don't have the guide either. 
They, don't, they still, I don't think they even have that anymore. I think it's all guide. No, if you have just like the the antenna thing, the digital antenna, you don't have a guide. Oh yeah, does it, do you even get CCTV on the digital antenna though? I don't know. I thought it was, maybe. Seems like you would. Let's play the dice game. Um, one dice. Yeah, can you press play? You gotta press play on that bottom one. It's in the middle on the right. On the right. And then and then you gotta stop afterwards too. That one, yep. Yep, and then it's gonna play, and then you have to press stop, stop after it goes. Oh, it's going. There it is. Uh, the big one on the left. Uh, yeah, that one. When it goes away. There. Yeah. Alright. Making this work. Jeremy's doing the Carl stuff. Yeah, I've just Should I turn on this camera? Yeah, we got the right numbers on our hands. Where's the... Oh, I got it still on my knee from yesterday. Didn't wash our knees, huh? I did a bit. <laughs> yeah, it stayed on there. It's I just wrote it in ink, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you you got to wash your knees, everybody. Yeah. It doesn't really come off. I mean, it worked when I was... I sat in the sauna at the gym for a bit. Uh-huh. And I just kind of, like, rubbed the most of it off. Oh, we got a... Number one. Number one. And that says... Uh, four. Number four. I have a three. All right. Whoa. So we'll put that right there. So yeah, people staying at hotels, hanging out, getting crazy. I've only stayed at a I stayed at a hotel in Olympia once. Um, yeah, it was different. It was kind of <laughs> weird because it was in Olympia and I was staying in a hotel there. Why? And Why? It was at, uh, for a wedding. Like, uh, everybody else in the wedding was staying at the hotel, so I got a room as well. Which was kind of nice, because there was, like, ten people crammed into one room, and I was hanging out with all of them. Uh-huh. And everybody passed out in that room, and I just, like, left and went and slept in my room. Oh, yeah. And then I came back in the morning, and everyone's, like, miserable and awake. And they're like, where did you go? I was like, oh, I went to my room. And they're like, there were ten of us staying in this room. And you had your own room and <laughs> you didn't tell anybody? It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it was awesome. There was like a couch in there that I didn't sleep on, this huge bed that I slept in by myself, like sprawled out in the middle. Yeah. They're like, we had five people crammed on this one bed. Why didn't you tell them? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wasn't trying to sleep uncomfortably. Yeah. Yeah, I paid uh, paid for that for that bed. The private room. Yeah. I ate a lot of complimentary breakfast they had a lot of french toast and stuff I kind of want to go get that complimentary breakfast without yeah. uh just go into the hotel and hang out yeah because do they they don't like check your like hotel credentials or anything right? no well they see you come in so you'd have to like get in and be in there for a while somehow go around the back way yeah just have somebody let you in the back door yeah that'd be kind of good yeah, I, could go toast. I could go for a nice breakfast. So one of my plans for my few weeks off was uh, there's this Chinese restaurant right beside my house. It's one of like the really old style Chinese restaurants. Like hey, you've reached Freddie Dilbert. I can't come to the phone right now, but what if the, you leave me a nice message, then I'll call you back. like super Americanized. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. And they have breakfast there. Freddie, it's program calls back. Call us back. It's the program. Chinese breakfast? No, it's like super American food breakfast, like super standard. But they also have, uh, so they have karaoke every night. And it's like the, all the food's kind of like the normal, like greasy style Chinese food, not authentic in any way. Oh, yeah. But they also have like a happy hour menu. We can get like nachos and burgers and chicken strips. And then they have a Mexican menu too. What? So you can get burritos. Probably mostly Mexican. And all this other stuff. Might really be. Is. But I kind of want to order, like, some night there. Get, uh, like, a burrito and then, like, sweet and sour chicken and chow mein all on one plate. Yeah. So that'd be kind of cool. But they have this breakfast special that's, like, the standard breakfast, like, two eggs, bacon, hash browns, uh, toast. And then there's, like, a, a drink for, like, $7, which is the craziest price in Seattle I've ever seen. Like so I want to do that. The food and the drink together? Yeah. Ooh. I think maybe Wednesday I'll do that. 
especially well their breakfast starts at 10 which is kind of late um yeah anyway but they have a happy hour from 10 to 6 so i might just do like a shift at the the chinese restaurant just to eat there and drink there all day day drunk at the chinese restaurant yeah i told my roommate i was gonna do that you could uh, uh, actually i saw the one of the last times i was there i haven't i'm like a block from it and i haven't been there in like a few months yeah um i haven't really gone anywhere around my house in a few months except the two restaurants i went to last week but uh yeah at the chinese restaurant i saw the most amazing karaoke performance like the most amazingly bad uh-huh there's this guy that was like so i went there i just ordered a beer i was like sitting at the bar so i was just like bored one night and this like super drunk dude goes up and starts singing uh won't back down by tom petty yeah but he sings the entire song like a half measure behind <laughs> wow like consistently off yeah uh so it wasn't like he was like like reading the words slowly and like at like a different speed like he knew all the words because he wasn't looking at any of the monitors and he was just like singing at his own pace but he sounded wasted and it was like three seconds off the whole time and then at the very end he threw up on the ground <laughs> oh man <laughs> but even before that i was just like this is incredible like he's consistently off he knows all the words and he's like really into it and then he puked at the end because he just gave all his energy oh, he, he had man. for the song I'm and then he didn't get kicked out of the bar they gave him another beer it was awesome a free beer yeah for puking i don't know They're like oh man you puked maybe his friend had ordered it already because he like went to the bar and started drinking it Who? and i was like wow i love this place how much did he barf like a decent amount like you know when you when you puke sometimes like you'll you'll puke once and it's like a little bit and then you'll puke like a ton of it like the second time yeah it was definitely like a second puke uh, yeah. so i don't know whatever happened to the first one maybe he skipped it or maybe, maybe he, he did he puked in his maybe mouth there was another bit. maybe there was another one later he puked in his mouth a little bit while i was singing but it's like right after it ended he was just like stops <laughs> <laughs> puked all over the place. Was it did, it? did did somebody come and mop it up? Yeah. And then did they keep doing karaoke after that? He, I left before he sung again. No, but did uh, did? Oh yeah, yeah. They didn't like miss a beat. Like the next person <laughs> came up while they were mopping it up. <laughs> like wow, the, mopping, the next person starts singing right next to them. I was just like, wow, this is. I love this. It's a this, regular. This is great. It's a regular occurrence at this bar. It sounds yeah. like yeah. You could stay there all day. You could eat uh, breakfast, and then you could eat like I was. I think I would have a couple meals during it. Yeah, Chinese food for lunch, and then Mexican food for dinner. Yeah. Or bre- yeah. I mean, that's definitely that's my plan for Wednesday right now. It'd be like you're going to different places. The other thing I like about that place is there's never a a, brec- a line for breakfast. It's the thing that I've noticed in Seattle. Like every breakfast place, there's like lines out the door at breakfast. Yeah. That's like a thing that people do is. Saturdays and Sundays go out to breakfast, which I don't know. I generally like prefer to cook breakfast because it's really easy to make. Yeah. And super cheap, and you don't have to wait in a line at your own house. Yeah. Which I mean, sometimes you do. You live with a bunch of people, but I don't know. I like cooking breakfast, hanging out home, watching TV. But I think I'll go to the rickshaw on Wednesday and get breakfast. So I've told my roommate about the breakfast and like talked about this place a bunch. And he's like, have you gone there for breakfast yet? I'm like, no. Yeah. And his... I actually went there a few weeks ago, just like, pretty, on like a weekend night. But my roommate's girlfriend, was, they walked by it apparently. He was like, yeah, she wants to go there and sing karaoke. I'm like, oh man, I love that place. And I told him a story about the guy puking. and uh, Yeah, it's an awesome bar. It's kind of funny though. Like I'll tell people that I... Like, yeah, I have this Chinese place by my house that I go to. In Seattle, a lot of people are uh, foodies, I guess. And so they want their, they think, like, when everyone mentions Chinese food, it's like the mega authentic, crazy expensive, super fancy Chinese food. Oh, no. But I like, you know, like, Albertsons is Safeway Chinese food. Yeah. That's you know, good. Dollar Chinese is yeah. awesome. Yeah. You know, anywhere that's, you know, cheap yeah. and fills you up. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I live by the rickshaw. And they're just like, oh, God. That's they have such strong drinks and, like, greasy Chinese food. I'm like, that's a bad thing? Like, 
It's like all good things in one. Yeah. Terrible karaoke. Yeah. I'll come Greasy, on. cheap things. Barfing. Yeah. You can get crazy there and puke on the floor after you sing a Tom Petty song. And we'll we'll give you up. a beer afterwards. <laughs> They'll reward you. <laughs> they won't say anything. It's like you can't say like, oh, he drank too much, because whatever's in him's gone now. So he's got to like replenish to get back to that level. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Keeps them in business, I guess. <laughs> hmm. yeah, crazy for you. What? This one has to do with Can see. that bar. Okay. Whenever they have a test, mm -hmm. like they say, this is a test. Or oh, the emergency or broadcast they have system? A cone, and then the bar comes across the screen. Yeah. Right? Um. Like this. Then. Are there still channels that do that late at night? I remember like no. Uh, PBS a channel would do that. Test was a failure. So my dad would always fall asleep by the TV growing up. And the TV would just be that in the morning. Yeah. Maybe know. some channels do. Maybe not. I don't know. Like channel uh, Channel Ten, the uh, Seattle Public Access one, always did that. I don't think it does it anymore because of. Uh, because it's digital and it's not like just sending it out there. It used to be a free and everything, so. Yeah. So, like, sending it over the airwaves, so it's like, danger on the airwaves. <laughs> uh, but now it's it's not like that so much. Well, this was the screen for just nothing being broadcast. Not the emergency broadcast signal. I don't think they do it anymore. They just always have something. Yeah. Because I, I think it used to be a lot harder to program stuff. Yeah, you always had to have somebody there. Yeah. Pushing buttons. Yeah. And you just throw your playlist in. Yeah, and then just let, let it go, so. Yeah, people used to be there pressing play on, on tapes and, and, like, timing out their, their, uh, their things. You know, that's, that's how TV used to be, you know, you're behind the scenes of all, all your flawless, like, moving between shows and everything. There's somebody there. Faders and... Yeah. There's a lot more errors on things. Somebody there looking at numbers and, and waiting to press the thing. Like, we got ten seconds left. Yeah. And it's, like, late at night and there's some guy there. So I'm trying to see how long I can hold this grip thing shut. Yeah, how long are you at now? Are you counting or? No. Just in general, just like a. Just do it till my arm starts shaking really bad. All right. My fingers kind of hurt now, but. Oh, I'm shaking a bit. Uh. I want to get info time, but we're, uh, Carl's not here, and he has it memorized, and we don't have it in the thing. <laughs> so maybe we could. Uh, we just wing it. We could wing it, or we could find. <laughs> I like to find them in in these old tapes and uh, and and play it. So I'm able to find them. I could just attempt it. You want to do that? Yeah. Instead of this. All right. I'll just make something up. Well, it'll be pretty much the same. Now it's info time. Info time. You're watching your daily hour with me, a Colin Television Talk Show from Thurston County, Washington, airing every night at 11:30 and 2 o'clock a.m. Yeah. Uh, it's a taped hyper live, so the episode you're watching was taped a week prior to whenever it was airing, and the late night one at 2 a.m. is uh, a year old. Anybody can be on the program, even you. Just give us a call. The number is 360-836-4384. Leave a message, and we'll get back to you on the next episode of the program. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day. That's Mount Rainier right there, in case you didn't know. If you're drunk and trying to call, we're going to call you back and uh, ask you questions That's about things you don't remember. So welcome back to your daily hour with me. We should add that drunk clause in the regular <laughs> time. If you're drunk... This show is not live, so if you're drunk, we will not call you back immediately after. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes we might, depending on the time. Maybe, like, day drunk people are calling. <laughs> if you're drunk, we'll know. We won't call you back immediately. <laughs> we have a drunk uh, sensor on the phones. Yes, uh, it's called your own voice that tells us you're drunk. Yeah. Um, I want to call John Webster, and then we can sue back. All right. See if I can find this. Um, Should we do another dice game? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can press play on that bottom one. And then Ooh. 
Roll, roll two dice. All right. Here we go. Using the cup. It's a five and a six. Five and six. I, I lost again. Um, I've also lost, but maybe I'm still in it. I don't know. Yeah, it's anybody's game still. Hey, John. Oh, dang it. Phones are getting messed up. Oh, uh, right when he answered. That's too bad. Sorry, John. Now it feels like he's, maybe he's getting pranked or something. I mean, I don't want to do <laughs> Say hello. Oh, Could have been. Phone's broke. No, I'm not getting... Getting fooled again. Oh, hello? John? Come on, phones. He's probably just watching TV again. Oh, uh, we need to fix the phones or something. I don't know where the... we got to find the router. It's it's a... Uh, oh, the internet's they weak. Hit, yeah, they hid the router from us somewhere. It's like in the locked room somewhere. <laughs> Did you guys reset it or something? Or just using it too much? No, I mean, they didn't hit it, hide it from us specifically. They just put it in some room that we don't know where it is uh -oh. not because of us but because of you guys. they hit it they hit it from us accidentally it's <laughs> well, not what it sounds like they don't know the usage yeah but uh phone calls yeah I just don't know where it is anymore it's somewhere in the building you can get like a sensor I think they have those you can find like your routers and stuff you get a wifi uh yeah. Beeper machine thing. But now the now it's the phones are down. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, maybe we should look at the commercial from last year. Yeah. Let's put in the tape. Press play. Yep. The one yesterday was pretty wild. The commercial. We're crazy. Here we are. Run, Bert is here. There you go. 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 Wow. Wow. Did you, uh, did you say like the last one was uh? The sound was rough. But you said it was crazy. You're like yesterday's one was crazy, and then we turned on this one, and they're like, we're even, crazy. Even crazier sounding. They, they, we said that we're crazy though. The, the, the delay sound on that. Like announced. The sound quality is definitely improved on the program. Everything's not all clipped out like crazy. The but the that's good. It's with the headphones, or you can understand things. Yeah, yeah well, I can. That's a good addition. Actually, I can actually like do the levels. I feel like I always knew if it, if they were bad just by looking at that red light over there. You know. Yeah. It's kind of the signal for it clipping out. But now, but nobody now, else cared. Yeah. Now with the headphones, uh, I'm actually. W hyper aware of it yeah i'm able to monitor correctly that's good everything sounded really good yesterday when i tried the headphone out so that's an improvement oh man uh, i'm trying to reconnect it <laughs> reconnect the internet but i lost uh i think i lost the password and didn't write it down maybe that's no good what's the password i don't know. password <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I had it. I had it. Um. Password one two three. No, it's like some. I know the word, and then there's some numbers after it. I don't know how I lost it. I'm not supposed to be doing that. Um, I should have written it down. I, you know, every time I get, uh, I lose it, and then I get it again. I'm like I'm gonna write it down this time, but then I'm like, why am I writing it down? I already nope. have it. Nope. Yeah. Didn't write it down. Like you only want to do things when you don't have them, and then you fix the problem, 
And then you're like, oh, the, the, the problem's fixed. <laughs> don't need the solution if it ever happens again. Yeah, last time I lived in Olympia, the router that I had, it was one of the ones where they just have the password like taped on the back of the router. Yeah. But it was so, like, it was like 30 characters. So I ended up taking a picture of it on my phone. So whenever anybody was like, hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? When they'd show up and hang out, I would just send them the picture. Yeah. It's like, ah, it's, it's a lot of numbers, man. Like, let's just do it this way. I don't remember what it was. I should have, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should have wrote it down. Now we're going to... Simple stuff. Well, now we have 15 minutes and uh, no phone calls, maybe. That's all right. Unless I find... We'll, uh, you know, just use our wits, talk about things. Uh... Yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was. Craziness. I thought I knew it, but I, I guess I don't. Uh, well, I guess we could play the final dice game, too. That's a, a yeah, game. let's do that. I'm going to roll a two, three, and a four. Yeah? That's my goal. Oh, to get it straight? Yeah. It's happened before. I know. Has there ever been all of one number? No. Someday. A Yahtzee? All right, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I did the wrong one? No. I just thought uh, you didn't press stop. Oh, okay. Someone went to the credits. Here it goes. Oh, three, oh, three, 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 three five. five. Hey, Almost. That's me. Two fives and threes. I want the winners. Here, look. Yeah. Three, and there's a uh, four. I won. I didn't. I got a thousand points. I got zero. Zero points. You want to switch that thing over? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the password. Oh, man. All right, well. Yeah, so the other night I hung out with friends that have kids. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. One of the kids was trying to eat a pixie stick. Ooh. Before bed, I was like, "This is a terrible idea." Yeah, that's not healthy. I think that's one of the. I don't know. I haven't eaten a pixie stick in many years. Yeah. Is that a, like that's the thing people only eat till like they're, they're like ten or twelve, and they're like, "This is really bad." Yeah, it's just like it's eating it's pure sugar. Pure sugar, it's colored and sometimes flavored. Yeah, there's a little bit of uh. Well, like orange flavor, imitation yeah, orange flavor. A little flavor. bit of citric acid in there to make it extra acidy. You know, there's like one level of acid with the sugar. Yeah. It's and then it's just like extra, a little bit more acid. That's like anything, anything that's like that sweet and then to add a flavor into straight sugar, it takes a lot of acid. Yeah. So it's like um, the uh, the like cola. Yeah. I found it. At the. Uh, the store I worked at when I was younger, I remember we drank like pure cola syrup. Oh my god! From the like vending machine thing. Why? That was one of like the worst things ever. How much it did was you drink? So, just like a. A sip. Yeah, a very small amount, but it was so. I think it was probably like a quarter of a shot glass. We would have still like drinking like a two liter <laughs> soda. Oh just my the god. Amount of, that the amount of flavor packed into it was so overwhelming. That's too much. It was a bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah, that sounds real bad. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't do that, viewers. Or maybe do it just so you can experience it. All right, I'm, I'm writing Life down experience. the experience. down the password this time. All right, that's good. I'm gonna put it on the TV right here. I feel like maybe tomorrow they'll be like, "What's this random thing here?" and then tear it off. And throw it away. Hey, John, it's the program. I want you to uh, uh, build, uh, so you know build alien stuff. Finish. What is it? Build alien stuff. Oh, yeah, it's loud as hell, huh? Fly. I want you, I'll see you at 2 o'clock uh, tonight. Okay, bye, John. So he just watched TV all day. Yep. Sweet. It's good life. He's gonna it's the life. He's gonna call us, or he, he thinks <laughs> he thinks we're live at 2 a.m. Somehow he got <laughs> in his mind. Yeah, you just go on the show after your 
You go and record after you spin all night at the bars, right? Yeah. That's what everyone thinks. Yeah. It's your against us, the program. We're on TV. How are you doing? I'm going to do shit. I'm busy. You're driving? I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs> Going to do shit. Things, huh? Damn, everyone's busy today. Yeah, well, it's, uh... <laughs> we are not. Like a Labor Day. Labor yeah. Day. <laughs> Obviously not laboring. Yeah. Today. We're taking it easy. We're taking it easy. I'm trying to call Carl one more time. Did we, oh, we played the final dice game. We did all that stuff. We did all this stuff. Yep. Good. Did the commercial. Did info time. I don't think he's going to answer it. So. No, no, definitely not. Carl, you're missing the whole show. I thought you would, he would show up late. Should we leave him another detailed message? Hello? No. <laughs> no more detailed messages for you, Carl. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have the thing going on Friday. Clayface again. Oh, yeah, it's almost time to change the month. What are we going to do? Are they going to have a drummer this time? I think... No. They're doing that same. I think most likely they're going to do the same thing. Stuff. And then it's going to be September. Wow. You know, it's already September for the viewers. Time's flying by. Summer. Well, when is summer over? In September? It doesn't say it on here. Man, the year's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the last time, the last uh, Friday thing when they were on, that was one of those times when I'm like, you know, I don't really like being a sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then September. What? <laughs> September 19th, we're almost uh, close to our... Five years, eight, ten, nine, eight, six, six years. We're going to complete our sixth year. And yes, we're, we're <laughs> eventually got it. We're moving, <laughs> we're moving into our seventh year. Wow. Wow. One dog year. Oh, man. Wait, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. One opposite dog year. A whole seven years, though. Second grade. That's second, long. Second grade. But that's not for a while. Getting there. Yeah, well, for the next, next, next 20, 22 days. Right? Yeah. Week and a day. It's on a Tuesday. Friday's going to be in um, uh, Puerto Rico. Whoa. Crazy. Yeah. And you got to avoid the um, Zika. Yeah, avoid, avoid all those mosquitoes. Ooh. They have mosquitoes in Vegas? No. There's no water there for them to oh, yeah. go and hang out at other than pools. It's a desert. They live in the desert. Yeah, none of those. Did you go to old Vegas? No. I should have because everybody asked me if I went to old Vegas because it's apparently way more fun and crazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I'll, I feel like I need to go back to Vegas like with crazier people just so it's more fun. I don't know. I was kind of let down by the whole thing. Well, we walked around a lot and didn't like do much. I don't think there's that yeah. much. I don't know. Gotta lower your. It's not really my type of place. I yeah. Got to lower your expectations about everywhere. I don't think any of these places are. It, the money that I had used going there, I could have like had way more fun with, like in Washington, like, hanging out with my friends, buying steaks and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you go <laughs> buy all instead of vacation and go just buy a bunch of steaks. Yeah. It's like a steak, uh, steakcation, yeah. Have a barbecue and have friends over and have food. That sounds fun, right? I'm, go I'm going on a vacation. I'm not going anywhere. Buying that was a pile of steaks and eating them. And, uh, like, uh, like well, that was like at work before. Uh, they are like, when are you going to take a vacation? Like, I don't know, never. What am yeah. I going to do? Yeah. And like, the Vegas thing kind of came up. Uh, someone was like, hey, go to this with us. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna buy but other than that, I was just like, what would I do if I took like a week or two off? It's like, I feel like I would just like go to Olympia or like hang out at home and just like drink and then like hang out with people and eat food. Which is actually what I did last weekend. I like just drank all weekend and bought steaks and cooked them for people. $400 worth of steaks. And then all last week, I just, after I w like went for my morning run and went, went to the gym and then ran some errands, I would just get home and, you know. Have some whiskey. <laughs> You're exercising whiskey. Yep. 
All right. But yeah, I'm enjoying my vacation. I, w I was talking about like going on a road trip. I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't. So I kind of had like half plans like Wednesday and this weekend. Well, where would you go on a road trip anyway? I don't know. I was just going to like just start driving and then. Just like don't know where you're going to go? Yeah, just drive for like three days and then turn around and come back. Yeah. I was thinking about going to Montana maybe, but then I didn't. Well, what's in Montana? One friend that moved there. Doctor move there. Oh yeah, you're gonna go visit the doctor in Montana. Cool. Yeah. Again, once you get there, you're just gonna be like, "Hi." Okay. <laughs> yep. You turn around. And get, like, you know, drive there, like have lunch, and then drive back. Yeah. That'd be. Yeah. Be a full 17-hour day. Apparently, it takes like eight hours to drive there. Yeah, it's not too long. Yeah. Yeah. So 17 hours total. Yeah. Maybe I could do that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I think you never leave the area, but you're only if like a uh, eight hours or from California or yeah. anything even. The traveling's overrated. I don't. I haven't gone anywhere in a long time. Got the yeah. To stay here. It's funny. I in Seattle, I met somebody, and they were talking about like all these different countries they had been to, like all over the world, like just crazy places that like third world countries where they probably, I don't know, like they almost like probably despise tourists. It's like, oh, I'm experiencing all this shit. They were yeah. telling me about all these places, and they had lived in Seattle for, like, five years, I think. And then I mentioned, like, going to Olympia on weekends. They're like, oh, isn't that a long drive? Like, you have to cross the mountains to do that? I'm like, what? They're like, it's in eastern Washington, is it? I'm like, no. Olympia is, like, 45 minutes south of Seattle. Mm -hmm. So this person who was giving me shit for not traveling ever didn't know where the capital of the state that they live in is. Yeah. Like, you'd think you'd at least have a vague you know it's like on i-5 in western washington yeah. yeah i don't know what it's like to not know where the capital is i guess um, yeah pretty much like know where places are it's well i don't know um, where, where the capitals of other states are where is it was it salem i don't know where that is you know you know that's the capital of oregon yeah so that's you know oh, he, they didn't even know that the olympia was the capital i don't even know they didn't know it was in western washington yeah. Well, I would have no idea where... I'm... For myself, I'm more into... Like... Diving deeper into, like, local places. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Boise. Or just, like... Sacramento. I feel like a lot of people that travel have never been to, like, cool things in their own city. Like, they don't explore, like, crazy deep into it. Yeah. They go, like, all the fancy bars and... Yeah, there's stuff there's stuff really around Really like you. really like general and super accessible things. Why do you need to go on a vacation when you can just go to a new place close to your home? Yeah. Like for who was I think it was the doctor. She was talking about concerts and I was like, Hey, let's go see my friend's band play. She's like you know what? she's like named off like a few venues. I'm like, no, it's like a, it's it's in this basement. Yeah. <laughs> she had never experienced anything like that. Oh yeah, She's pretty cool. Uh yeah, just go to. I went to a new place. My friend had a wedding, and there was a building down there by the Capitol, kind of. Yeah. And I went in there, and I was like, I've never been in this room before. It's a new experience. Yeah, and it's right next to uh, everywhere where I've been. I've been outside of that building a lot of times, but. It know. was like when I found the that wrestling place. It was just like in this gym that's below like a bar. Yeah. Which was really like super secret. That they even had like they don't advertise their shows at all except for like word of mouth and on like facebook a little bit like you have to be like friends with them but I, like found out that just by like walking around and like that was a weird thing that nobody knows about well, how did you find it, it was so it's below uh the black lodge in yeah. lo-fi where we played that one time mm -hmm. i went to a show at the lo-fi but before that, I'd heard, I think Spencer said something about that entire block being sold, and they were going to build some huge building on it. Yeah. Um, so I was looking up about that, about that block, and there's, like, a thing, like, an, an article in some, like, blog about wrestling. Whoa. And I was like, what? Or maybe it was, like, a Twitter post or something. It was something weird. Like, a something, like, not, just a really small, like, blurb about it. I was like, what? And so I, like, like looked looked it up more on Google and then eventually found out about it. 
found a well, like I found the gym's website and then mm. had found some more info. Did you? Like, uh, they had, it was just like wrestling class taught by so and so. Like that was all that said on the on the thing. Like off in the like the corner. Well, that's where you like busted your what you, your busted my ribs. Yeah, your ribs and got a Jeez. concussion. Ah. Yeah, that's why I got really out of shape in like February because I couldn't. So before that, I was like lifting weights and I got all like huge and muscular, and then I hurt my ribs and I couldn't like do anything. Yeah. Like walking or just like being awake hurt Whoa. being asleep hurt too <laughs> so yeah i couldn't lift anything or run or do anything and i got really out of shape like i couldn't do anything for like almost two months and then i started doing stuff Did you fix your ribs yeah it got better did you have to go to the doctor i went to the doctor and they were like well your ribs in the wrong place it'll eventually move back but you just have to like rest a whole bunch Oh yeah, it just moved back on its own. Yeah. They didn't like snap snap out your ribs and in, in this shape or anything. They can't just grab your rib, man. Come on. Yeah, but maybe they can cut you like cut you open and grab them from the inside or something. Ugh, that sounds like way more work than yeah. I wanted. It seems like if you like mess up your bones, they gotta like you know like snap it back into place. Yeah. So, well, it's the ribs is like the muscle holds it in place, but uh. it like overpower the muscle, so eventually the muscle just drag it back into place. Oh uh, wow. So. It's that sucked a lot. <laughs> How are they now? Good. They're not, no Good. Re- residuals? No, nope, I haven't gone back to the wrestling. Well, uh, yeah, I don't think I, you thought, sh- I actually went to one of their shows and I was like, this is the least fun I've ever had. Like, all the people were jerks. They yeah. were way into it and they were all really terrible. Yeah, you can't, if, if, if you like do this, it's not gonna. No. You can't feel it? No. Or you got a lump? It's completely fine. It totally healed itself. No lump? No lump. No random pain. No. Wow. I can do somersaults again. Probably <laughs> stronger than it was before, maybe. I know. I think and I've lost like 40 pounds since then too, so. Yeah. A fucking athlete again. What about your? Uh, no concussion. Concussion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta uh, maybe not have as many of those. You have any? Uh, <laughs> I've had, I've had uh, three or four <laughs> now in my lifetime. You had any? Uh, s- memory lapses or, or or like blackouts no i haven't attacked anybody or had like the the crazy nfl player stuff you know i haven't slid anyone's throat or my yeah. own throat or uh, hung, done that hung your family from a like, weight bench or something yeah <laughs> maybe someday but yeah not yet hey the show's over we didn't uh die yet <laughs> Is that, that didn't wrestler? lose consciousness yeah that wrestler who hung his family from chris benoit yeah a lot of other ones have like the brain. Dave Mira also uh, the, the uh, bicycle yeah, guy. He had that t- the same thing too. He got angry and, and attacked somebody. Killed himself. Oh no. Nah, but yeah, but he had like crazy drug problems too. But well, that'll do it. Hey, thanks, crew. Hey, yeah. Uh, Dale, Dad, Dave, David, Jerry, <laughs> Merritt, Paul, Mom, Sid, Ursula, William, Trini. Wilker. Zizang. UFO FBI, thank you. TCTV, LeBebe, Jordi E, Fabulous, Graham Graham, Sopapa.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers only. Like you. Hell, Hell yeah, dog. dog. Bye bye. Coming up on the next episode of the program. So, you, so you think if I get a bucket of nuts and take it over there? My mother might come back if she thinks there's a bunch of food around here. Mr. Ginsu uh, somehow rescued a baby squirrel, but he's not sure what to Mm. do with it. Carl, help somebody move into a trailer. Yay. Um, It's horrible. It's the cutest little fucker. Oh. Heart of gold. Cutest little fucker. (laughs) Right, right, right. 11.30 at 2 a.m. with TC Channel 22? It was. It's cute. You gotta give it that. What, what'd you, oh, what'd you did, you, did you give it a name, Mr. Gensu? No. A beaver. I did. I did put Bye. it. Bye. <laughs>